What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing Hydrapple in Regulation F. Now I know what you guys are thinking, Jeans, it's about time. It's about dang time. And I can agree with you guys on that one considering Hydrapple looks absolutely amazing. Such cool Pokemon, new evolution from Diplin, right? Diplin's evolution? Yeah, it's not Applin because Diplin's its own Pokemon. Yeah, it's Diplin's Evolution just released in the Indigo Disc, a brand new Pokemon to this game. Now, this Pokemon is a Dragon and Grass type, and it is a super cool Pokemon considering it is basically Diplin on steroids, kind of, right? It's got super sweet setup to lower the baseness, and then it has access to a bunch of cool moves, such as its new signature move, Fickle Beam. Now, Fickle Beam is pretty much Dragon Pulse. It's an 80 base power move with a 30% chance of doubling its damage. So every three to four times, you're going to get off a massive Fickle Beam, and it's going to be base 160. Really cool. Like I said, super excited to actually use this team. Hydrapple also has the Assault Vest, and it's rocking out with Energy Ball, Earth Power, and Hydra Pump. We also have the Water Type on that Pokemon, so we can go into Water Terror Hydra Pumps with the base in this drop, and pretty much never miss. Pretty dope. Definitely really, really dope. But this team pretty much consists of a Trick Room Squad. You got Hatterene and Indeedee. Hatterene now has access to Expanded Force. So again, you can pair that up with Indeedee and just do some crazy stuff. You also got Torkoal. You got Ursula to really thrive out in the Trick Room. And then Iron Hands as our final Pokemon. But yeah, this video is all about Hydrapple. If you guys want to rent this team for yourself, we got the rental code in the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's content, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on any of my Regulation F content. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one. Look to grab you guys some wins. Now, this team right here was made by the boys Kevin and Mike over at Poke Sports. Huge shout out to them. They've been making some awesome Regulation F content. So we'll be leaving the Poke Pace alongside with their channel down in the description below. Go, go check them out. Again, they've been making some amazing Regulation F content. So go show them some Jeans love over on their channel. Tell them Jeans sent you. Be like, yo, Jeans, showcase your team. And he wants to show you guys some love. And uh, he sent you over here. So, yeah. Definitely go check out their channel. But we're hopping into match number one here. And we're going up against an Iron Crown Trick Room team. So we got Trick Room versus Trick Room. Pretty dope here, right? Definitely pretty dope. I definitely want to bring in Hydrapple somewhere in here. And to be honest, I kind of want to check its stats out right now. Let me see that. Look at that. 189 special attack. Its speed is terribly low, but for a good reason. It's for Trick Room. And its HP stats really good. So I'm loving this Pokemon right here. Looking real dope. Definitely looking real dope. I could lead Iron Hands. I could lead Indeedee. I could lead Hatterene. And I'm kind of hoping they lead a Trick Room Pokemon. So you know what? I'm going to go Hatterene here. I'm also going to go in with Hydrapple. Do I lead Hydrapple? That's the real question. They could lead Fluttermane, which would be a little bit of an issue. And at that point, I might just want to lead Iron Hands. And I'm going to do that. And then bring Hydrapple and Ursaluna in the back end. Something I really, really like. I definitely like that a lot. So that's what I'm going to go into here. Let's see who they end up leading. Because again, Trick Room versus Trick Room. I'm not bringing in Didi. Maybe they think I'm bringing in Didi and they're not going to bring in Didi. And we're just going to have no Didi on the field. So no Psychic Train, which would kind of be funny because we too, we have a, a bunch of Expanding Force Pokemon. I have Hatterene. They have Iron Crown. They have Armour. Just three Expanding Force Pokemon. That would be funny if none of us bring in Didi. It would make for a good match. It would definitely make for a good match. But it's Hydrapple time. It is Hydrapple time. I've been reading you guys' comments. A lot of you guys have been like, yo, Jeans, where's Hydrapple at? I want Hydrapple. Now's the time. I told you guys. It was uh, it was long overdue. But Armour and Ursaluna come out here. And I feel like we did the same thing. I feel like we totally did the same thing. Where we uh, where we, we both didn't bring in Didi. So I'm going to boost our energy up. I get the attack boost. And do I even pop Trick Room? How slow are they? Wait, let me check out their Ursaluna. How slow are they? Let's be honest. I'm, yo, I'm slow. I'm so slow. So I'm 49 there. 49 here. I'm, yo, this is slow, slow. Oh, Trick Room's still going to benefit us. We're popping the Trick Room. My team is slow, slow. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to end up faking out Armage. I could end up Terrastalizing if I want to. And I think that's going to be my play. Actually, no, it's not. Because I honestly think Ursaluna might just protect. I'm going to fake out the armors. No terror coming out here. And he just withdraws armors. All right, that's a little upsetting. And he's going to go into Indeedee. Okay, so he might just be trying to get rid of my... He might just be trying to get rid of my Iron Hands here, here with like a headlong rush. But they're going to block the fake out turn one. Okay, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Yep, there's headlong rush. So 
Iron Hands, <laughs> you're gone. Get it on out of here. He's going to drop his defense, which is actually pretty good for us. And I'm able to get off this Trick Room. So with this Trick Room out and about, now is a solid turn for us to actually just maybe to go into Hydrapple and get to using that Pokemon, lower the evasiveness of these guys. I like it. I definitely like it. Or I could go into Ursaluna of my own, but Hydrapple, it's time. It's so time. It's so time. So we'll lower evasiveness. We do lose Iron Hands just like that. And I should have definitely terrestrialized it. I definitely should have terrestrialized. I even thought about it. Too. You guys seen it. I was like, I'm going to terrestrialize. Then I kind of pulled back. But from here, I can freely drop an expanding force, which is nice. And on top of that, I could terrestrialize into straight water if I want to. But now I'm just going to throw a normal fickle beam across the board, right? Yeah, we're double down to Ursaluna. If you if you go for follow me, you go for follow me. Expanding force will still hurt, hit, and then uh, Fickle Beam's gonna get off some big time damage. But hopefully we get that double damage Fickle Beam. I believe all the uh, Hydrapple heads come out of the apple and they just like start Fickle Beaming all at once. It looks sick. So I definitely want to try that out. I definitely want to do that. But my Pokemon are super slow. They're super slow. Trick Room definitely benefits us both, but I'm hoping it benefits me a little bit more here, right? But we're going to see a nice little Terra probably come out from Ursaluna, right? Yeah. Ursaluna is going to go normal. Straight normal. Spanning Force can do a nice chunk of damage. And I believe my Hatterene should go before anything except for Follow Me. And there's Follow Me. So Follow Me gets bumping. We have Expanded Force ready to go. And yeah, we're going. So Expanded Force drop here. He has my spawn on special uh, defense. And I just dump on it. So that's beautiful. We get rid of Terra and we get rid of Ursaluna. Lovely, lovely. So that's big time. That's big time. We got Fickle Beam cooking here. And can it be a double Fickle Beam? It's a double Fickle Beam. We love a double Fickle Beam. <laughs> yo, let's go. Yo, that's so much fun to use. Double Fickle Beam. Getting after it. Yo, every time you like fix up a KO or like turn ends, all the little hydrapples come out. But now Fluttermane comes out here. Okay, Fluttermane's a little scary. Armor's a little scary. I mean, um, our best bet would probably be just expanding force here. And then terrestrialize you in the grass. And I might just end up Hydra pumping you. Because in the back end, we do have Ursula Luna. And let me just see how many turns are left in this trick room three. Yeah, to be honest... I say we terrestrialize and we rip a Hydra Pump. It's not guaranteed to hit because the Vaseness is a drop, but I I have faith in my Hydra Apple. He just picked up a double damage Fickle Beam. So yeah, I'm with it. Hydra Apple, put a little bit of water drop on his head, a little fountain, and let's pick up a big time Hydra Pump. Like I said, my team's super slow, so Trick Room's helping us out tremendously. Fluttermane's gonna pop the protect. And expanding force is gonna get cooking. Hydrapple, you slower than Armors? I would think so, right? So I would just need you to pretty much just uh, land his Hydra Pump. Can you do it for me, big dog? See, I love Hydrapple. He's killing it for me today. Hydrapple coming across a big time Hydra Pump. We're gonna say bye bye to Armors. Get it on out my face. I would love to fickle beam down this uh, this Flutter main, but I can't. It's fairy type. So, in this instance, we're just going to go for another Expanding Force. And I'm just going to throw an Energy Ball because we got a little bit of Stab Boost on that. And its accuracy is way higher than Hydra Pump. Don't want to miss a Hydra Pump. That Pokemon Protect, get out of Trick Room and kind of make something happen, right? Nah, we're just going to try to take this thing out right here, right now. So, yo, Hydra Apple? Amazing. Amazing so far, match number one. Double Fickle Beam hitting hard. We have the Hydra Pump hitting hard. Everything worked out perfectly. They canceled the match. The Dragon Apple prevails in match number one. We're hopping into our second match. Let's look to do it again. Look to showcase this Pokemon a little bit more. I have so much fun using it. Not even gonna lie, having so much fun using it. They got Whimsicott, they got Chiyu, alongside Walking Wake and Arch Ludon. Now, Arch Ludon seems to be that Pokemon in Regulation F, or I should say on the casual ladder right now, that always gives you problems. I'm scared of that thing. Stamina just does me dirty. It just does me dirty. You also have Golurk, which is, uh, is that Golurk, right? I believe it is, alongside with Logan, but the only way they can really thrive with Logan is if they pop Sunny Day. So I think from here, we might just want to go in DD Hatterene, 
and get the Trick Room out, right? I think that's your best bet. Go in DD Hatterene. Follow me, Trick Room, and then just bring in the, the Apple alongside with the Turtle. So we get Turtle and Apple at the same time. I'm about it. Dude, I love this team so much. You get the Turtle and the Apple. Hide your Apple, dude. So cool. Such a cool Pokemon. Wish I would have showcased this Pokemon sooner. You guys definitely won it, and I let you guys down. But hey, we're here now. Don't worry about it. We're already picking up KOs with this thing. Fickle being going crazy today. We loving it. But they're going to end up leading out Whimsicott and Golurk. Now, Whimsicott could pop a Trick Room. Right? Whimsicott could go Trick Room. It could have Imprisoned Trick Room, right? I doubt it, though. I think just follow me Trick Room is just going to be the safe, smart play, right? So I'm going to pop those Psychic Seeds. I'm going to get the Special Defense Boost. And yeah, let's just go Trick Room. Let's just go for a nice little follow me. I do have Skill Swap on this thing. That's pretty cool. I could take away Pranks if I want to, but uh, right here, we're just going to go for a nice little follow me. But I think the Skill Swap is there kind of for like uh, Hydrapple. Because whenever you want, you can always Skill Swap with Hydrapple. And then it will uh, actually drop a base in this yet again. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool to rock out with skill swap. But follow me comes out here. Beautiful. And Tailwind flies. And this turn is really good for us. Trick room's out and about and they set up a Tailwind. He's going to go for a trick and you're just going to take my non-item and give me another item. What are you giving me? You're going to choice ban me. All right, I'll be choice banned into a, a follow me. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind one bit. I don't mind one bit. I simply don't mind. Um, from here, actually, I kind of just want to bring out... To be honest... To be honest, I kind of want to bring out what's called Hydra Apple. But I think from here, just a nice little expanded force can get some damage off. And I guess we'll just follow me whatever shots they have to offer, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Cyclops comes out here. And that is going to be Chiyu. And oh, that's a great swap. That's a great swap just to dodge the expanding force. And follow me, he's going to fly. So follow me coming out and about. Uh, Wimscott probably attacking me or maybe taunting me. No, going for a sunny day. So, ooh. No bueno. We don't like that. We do not like that. We do not like that. We now drop this. And we just get rid of Wimscott, which is pretty big. I mean, I don't mind the Sunday. I had the turtle in the back end. I'm just definitely scared of heat waves coming out from Chiyu. They already do so much damage due to its ability. Now add the sun on top of that. Come on, man. Leave me alone. They bring back out the Golurk. How you doing, dog? And from here, I'm just going to now dad some gleam and simply just follow me the shots, right? Yeah, even though you're going for heat wave, I know heat wave is one of your moves. Looking terrifying. So we're going to see a Terror too. Please don't be Fire Terror. Please do not be Fire Terror. Are you Fire Terror? Oh, he's straight Dark. Okay, so we want to go straight Dark. Maybe just looking to rip some Dark Pulses. Take out the Follow Me shots. That works for me. As long as I can get off this Dazzling Gleam or two. So Follow Me comes out here. Indeed, I'm sorry. We're sacrificing you here. And Dark Pulse is going to get cooking, which is just going to take out the, the Chiyu. Okay. I'm cool with that. So we're just killing it here in match number two. We're just killing it. That was actually a bad Terra. I totally forgot that it just took off its fire typing. And allowed us to pick up some KOs. But EQ is going to fly here. And EQ actually does a ton of damage. EQ actually did a ton of damage. Now they're going to bring out their final Pokemon. Which is going to be Walking Wake. Who actually thrives really well in the sun. Um, Hydrapple's a solid swap here. Hydrapple is such a solid swap here. And you know what? How many turns are left in Trick Room? We got two. Yeah, Hydrapple's just a good swap here all around. So from here, I'm going to swap Hatterene here for Hydrapple. The chance are it's EQ and... And what's it called? I'm just going to follow me the... Uh, the Hydro Steam that's probably coming out here, right? I'm choiced into the follow me anyway. So I'm going to swap into Hydra Apple. If EQ comes across here, Hydra Apple can soak pretty well. And then we'll have one turn of Trick Room left. At that point, I could launch a Draco Meteor into Walking Wake. 
We have options. We have plenty of options here. So follow me out and about. EQ is flying, and this is exactly why I swapped. Hydro can soak pretty well. And indeed, he's going to take this Hydro Seam. So everything worked out perfectly. Everything worked out perfectly. Now from here, I could bring out the turtle. I could bring out the turtle. I mean, smart play would probably be to actually maybe not bring out the turtle. Because Hatterene has 9 HP and it could thrive with one turn left in Trick Room. Or I could just bring out the turtle, right? Yeah, I'm gonna bring out the turtle. The turtle's coming out here. I can flamethrower down the uh the gold lurk slot, and I can also drop a nice big time fickle beam into that slot. Maybe we'll get a all-out fickle beam. That'd be pretty dope. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna pop a nice little flamethrower, and should be game set match. Should be game set match. Battle was canceled. We don't even get to use fickle beam in this match, but hey, there's two out. Let's go hop to a third, look for a perfect record. In this third match, we need more fickle beams. We need more beams that are full of fickle. So, Hi Hydrapple, you're coming out here no matter what. I might just lead you. I might just lead you, depending on who they got. And honestly, this seems looking tough. Real tough. We definitely need Ndidi for lead stop first turn priority. We actually might want to bring Ndidi more as a back end Pokemon, right? Actually, I could lead you. I see Rillaboom, who's a huge problem, but I think we're going to be slower, and that's just going to work out perfectly. So I am going to go in DD, and on top of that, I am just going to go in with Hydrapple. Right? Get a little Hydrapple lead. I like it so much. I definitely like it. So I'm going to go Hydrapple. I'm going to go in with in DD, and on top of that, we're going to go Hatterene. And last but not least, do we go in with the Turtle? The Turtle seems like he's going to work wonders, right? Super effective onto the Shen Pal, the Rillaboom, and the Registeel. And we have Earth Power to deal with that uh, Entei. Yeah, I like it. I definitely like it. So let's lock that in. Let's lock that in. The only Pokemon I'm really worried about is going to be Dragonite. But if I can kind of get out Trick Room, we can work wonders. Because then I could just Fickle Beam it. The Beams of Fickles. Exactly what we want to do. We want to drop that into the slot. And we want to look to grab ourselves a perfect record here. So that would be beautiful. It would be lovely. But I wonder who they're going to lead. Who you got cooking here? Frigoraph and Shen Pao. So, Frigoraph, oh, Frigoraph could go for a Trick Room here. Shen Pao could drop a nice move. And at that point, we're going to pop Trick Room. And we're going to Tarad Slice Hydrapple. And we're just going to Fickle Beam right into that Shen Pao slot. I'm not playing around with Fickle Beams. I'm a Fickle Beam master. And honestly, Hydro Pump would do more than Fickle Beam, right? Unless we get a double Fickle Beam. And I'm all about the double fickle beams. <laughs> I'm all about it. I'm all about a double fickle beam. But yeah, we're gonna pop trick room here. I think they target down Hydrapple more so than anything. So, oh, you could have in prison. You could have in prison. Uh, I could go for Hydro Pump. 110. I think Hydro Pump's perfect. Let me just make sure. You should be minus one on, on a base in this, right? Yeah, you are not. You're just not dodging this Hydro Pump. You just simply are not. Please don't have in prison. That could be brutal. That could be real brutal. But Hydrapple, get in the terror type. In prison could really screw us over, right? It'd be a huge problem if in prison comes out here. Which I feel like it is, right? Every time I feel it, like, or every time I don't need something to happen, it always happens. I saw Crash comes across here and he goes into Indeedee slot. Indeedee's soaking pretty well here. And he's just doubling down, so this is going to KO us, isn't it? No, Indeedee's able to soak. Our defense is so high. Our special defense, especially with the Psychic Seeds. So I'm able to soak. I'm able to drop this Hydro Pump and rip in the Shen Pao. Yo, he hits hard. The Fickle Beam Boy hits hard. Trick Room's now going to fly. I got total speed control. I got all the control in the world. Every last bit of it. Now, from here, I can pop down some Gleam because first turn priorities are not allowed. Um... Actually, you could be. Mm. I was gonna say, Frigorifer could be faster than Indeedee. But you know what? I'm still gonna launch a Fickle Beam into the slot. He ends up withdrawing Shen Pao, so that actually works out fine. And they're gonna go into Dragonite, which is good. They can't first turn priority. I was thinking it's gonna be like Real Boom. So Fickle Beam now gonna fly. And I'm killing it with the double Fickle Beams. Double Fickle Beam, double damage. We're killing it with it. That's when Gleam now flies out here. Does not KO Frigoraph. And that thing lives as an H or a 1 HP bandit. And of course you live. 
Why? Why? Why do you live? Why do you do that? Why do you do that? Why do you do that? <laughs> I don't... Come on, man. I think I'm just gonna follow me this shot, to be honest. I'm gonna watch Fickle Bean the Dragonite. I'm gonna Fickle Bean the Frigraph. I think we just go after Dragonite, right? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Why? Why you gotta live? I had Trick Room set up. I had Hydrapple ripping. Double damage Fickle Beams were thriving. Hopefully, we get another one here. I love her. I love her Terror type, man. I love her Terror type. We're gonna follow me. We're gonna sacrifice Indeedee. Looking to get off another Fickle Beam. And he don't Terrasize, which is massive. It's real big considering I'm still super effective onto this Dragonite, and I think I could just pick up a simple KO, right? Dazzling Gleam's gonna fly. We already showed that we can absolutely soak this up. And my Soul Vest helped me out. Fickle Beam flies. That one's not an all-out attack, but it's still doing some crazy big-time damage. So from here, you could be choice in the Dragon Claw. That could be the play. I'm now just gonna go into Hatterene. And I'm gonna pop another Trick Room, because I'm not playing around this time, and I'm gonna target down the Frigraph and just make sure that thing goes down. Cool. Cool. And a lot of Frigraphs do Rock Fairy Terror type. So if that's the case, I'm just gonna rip another Hydra Pump in this slot. It's gonna land because the baseness is dropped. So if they wanna swap that slot, Hydra Pump's still going into it. Cool. I like this turn. I like this turn. So the ends of Dragon Calling. Yep, you are definitely choiced into that. You're definitely choice banned. And Psychic Noise gonna come out here. Which I drop soaking. My dude. Soaking all day. I'm prevented from healing. That's actually a cool move. Hydra Pump's gonna land. No problem. We're gonna say bye bye to you. And guess what, ladies and gents? Hydra Apple's back in the trick room for the rest of the turns. And both the Pokemon that love first turn priority cannot use anything. We got the psychic train up. So we are just fully countering them. Let's go, yo. Hydra Apple, dude. I, I never had, well, I had, but uh, I haven't had this, this much fun recording in a while, right? With Hydra Apple? I have fun every time I record, but I drop them having a blast with. So they still have Terror type. This is probably what they were saving it for. But to be honest, I'm just going to expand it for us, finish you off. And I'm just going to throw a Fickle Beam because I know you're going to Thrasalize. It's pretty simple. Unless you're just going to cancel the battle. But this is just screaming 3-0 perfect record. I forgot. You still have Shen Pao. 1 HP Shen Pao. But again, we've tricked him for so long. I feel very confident saying we won this match, right? The Fickle Beamster Hydrapple. Lighting it up today. <laughs> this Pokemon's sick. It's just killing it today. It really is. So there's a Terra type. Entei, I knew you were doing this the whole time. Be hilarious if you're Dragon Terra. It'd be so funny if you are. Now, straight normal. So that's for its E speeds. And again, I knew you were doing that all day. Hydro Pump actually would have still hit really hard, but I got Fickle Beam ready to roll. Expanded Force comes out here. We're going to say bye bye, Dragonite. Entei as well. See you later. <laughs> That's gonna be game. That is gonna be game. That is gonna be game. They're gonna bring out Shen Pao on 1 HP. They're just gonna cancel the match. Or <laughs> they just turn off their console. High Drapple Trigger Room Team. Making people rage quit in casual ladder. We love it. The power of High Drapple. Winning all three matches and making our last opponent rage quit. Absolutely love this Pokemon. Had so much fun recording. And the Pokesports community. Or the Poke Sports guys made an absolute banger of a team. This team was phenomenal, very strong together, just a hard trick room team that really focuses in on Hydra Apple and using them a lot. And again, it works so perfectly and just dominated in today's video. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.